with another smash. Here's Coburn. Foul. And Give it to one. Him. Another dunk. Coburn just swats it away again. Kofi, you were by far, I think, the biggest surprise of any player in college basketball that came back. Why'd you do it? I knew it in Coach Jeff. Did a really good job with just um, letting me know, yo, the places that he'll put me in, like, to be successful, to be a better player. I'm in the first to win. And, like, when I heard the word legacy from Coach, you know, it just, like, hit me right away, like, yo, this is really crazy. I never thought about this. Like, I could really be one of the best players to leave um, Illinois basketball. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that was, like, the, the main reason. When you made the decision to come back for this season, uh, how much did you realize that you were going to be one of the best players returning in college basketball? No, it was mentioned to me, um, you know, once or twice by coach and, or, and all my, my mentors. Um, you know, it's a great feeling. You know, I've worked hard and dedicated a lot of time, you know, in developing my game. I've been working on my game, and I'm continuing to work on my game now. I think I did a really good job last year. It's more ways I could go. I'm um, definitely, like, improving, you know, making my free throws, you know, working on my playmaking. I um, mean, just keeping winning, you know, I feel like winning is the most important thing. Illinois, a one seed, and Loyola Chicago, it's going to be interesting. Going to shoot it, Kennedy, three. And a chance for the four-point play. Got an opening, got a block. What a great job, Loyola. Another fairy tale ride is underway for Loyola Chicago. And we've lost a number one seed for the first time in this tournament. So take me back to last March. You guys were the favorites, but they beat you. Uh, what do you remember about how it un unfolded and, and what you felt after? It was a tough loss for us, you know. Uh, I feel like, like mentally, everybody wasn't there. You know, I feel like we, we had guys that played a certain way that they never played before. That, and like, we always had hope. We always felt like, yo, we've been here before. We've been in this position, right? Like, let's, let's keep fighting. I mean, to get a couple stops and get back in the game. But it just never happened, you get what I'm saying? But, like, I feel like everybody was just wasn't there mentally. I feel like it was just a whole case where we were in the hotel, we were quarantined for the whole Big Ten, and I feel like that, that has a huge factor in why we, we weren't mentally focused the way we should have been. So you, you mentioned the word legacy. What kind of legacy would you like to have in the NCAA tournament? I want to be in the last game. I want to win that last game. You know, I want to go out as champions, you know, with my team. For us to be able to go to the NCAA tournament and win a national championship, that would be huge for us, man. That's, that's everybody's ultimate goal, and, you know, that, that's what we want to achieve. What do you think you need to do to make that happen? I just need to keep doing what I'm doing, keep getting better, um, keep improving, um, keep being a leader, um, you know, keep rem reminding these guys that, yo, we always got to be prepared, we always got to be ready. Um, we have a huge target on our backs. We have all these great teams coming from different conferences, and only the best make it. You know, you got to go out there, you got to make sure that you laid all on the line. You got to make sure that every game that we go out, we give it our best, you know, give it our best shot.